Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to calculate the powers and roots in calculations. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to have a go at the Do Now Activity on the board. Some of these are skills that you should already know that will be useful for today's lesson. Okay, so we want to round this number here to one significant figure. So the number I want to round is 3 and the deciding number is 5. Because that's five or more, that's going to round the three up to the four. If it was four or less, it would stay the three. So the answer to that question is 0 0.00004. The next question, we're going to round this to one significant figure. So we're going to round the nine. The zero is the decider. So that's going to round to 90 because the zero means that the nine stays as it is and doesn't round up. The next question. The most significant figure is four and the decider is the five. So that's going to round it up to 50. Then we have an estimate question. So we want to round all of those to one significant figure. So we'll get 80 multiplied by 30 divided by 300. Which gives us 2,400. That's not very neat, is it? Divided by 300. Which gives us 2,400 divided by 300. Which is equal to 8. Next question. So this is a big math question. So brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So I'll start with the indices. That will give me 9. And then 9 multiplied by 8 is 72, plus 9 is 81. Here, brackets first, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 squared is 25, multiplied by 3 is 75. Here, brackets first, 7 plus 8 is 15, all 15 cubed. I'm going to have to do a written calculation for that one. 15 multiplied by 15 is 225. Multiplied by 15 again is 3,375. And then if I divide that by 9, it gives me 375. The next question, one half multiplied by one half. So we multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. One multiplied by one is one, and two multiplied by two is four. Three multiplied by three is nine. Eight multiplied by eight is 64. A multiplied by A is A squared. And B multiplied by B is B squared. Now some practice on negative. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 9. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 9. Multiplied by negative 3 again is negative 27. Negative 4 squared. Negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 is positive 16. A multiplied by A is A squared. And 4A multiplied by 4A is 16a squared. Okay, I'm going to have a look at an example with you and then you're going to have a go. So we're looking at the power of first of all. 2 to the power of 5 means that we're multiplying 2 by itself 5 times. So that means that we are doing 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, all multiplied together. And that makes, well, 
2 times 2 is 4. Multiply by 2 is 8. Multiply by 2 is 16. Multiply by 2 again is 32. You have about this one, 5 squared. Five squared, five to the power of two, five multiplied by five. Now that is twenty-five. Okay, we're going to do some quick fire questions if you think of the answer. Um, use paper if you need to, and then press play when you're ready for the answer. Which calculation would you use to solve three cubed? Three multiplied by three multiplied by three. Don't get confused, we're not adding here, so we're multiplying. 8 squared, so that's 8 multiplied by 8, which is 64. 5 cubed is 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25, multiplied by 5 again, 125. The answer is 64. What's the question? Well, 8 squared is 64. 4 cubed is the same as 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16, and multiply 16 by 4 is 64, which means this and 4 would be the correct answer. So you should have circled A, B, and C. 2 to the power of 6. So that would be equal to 2, and multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, and multiply by 2. Which gives us 2 times 2 is 4, multiply by 2 again is 8, multiply by 2 again is 16, multiply by 2 again is 32, and multiply by 2 again is 64. Which of the following is incorrect? 1 cubed is 3 equal 1 cubed is 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1. Remember we're multiplying, not adding. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, and multiplied by 1 again is 1. So if that answer is not 3, that's incorrect. To check that the rest are correct, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, multiplied by 2 is 8, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, multiplied by 3 is 27. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16, multiplied by 4 again, 64. Right, have a go at these questions. Pause the video while you work through them and then press play when you're ready for the answers. Right, these questions start relatively straightforward. You definitely should have got the left hand side correct. It gets gradually harder. We have to start thinking about negative numbers. But if you've made a mistake with the sign here, just check that you've got that correct. You should have a negative answer if the power is an odd number, and a positive answer if the power is an even number. Okay, there are certain powers that you should know. These are the ones that you might be tested on in your GCSE. Well, you must remember these, and these are really useful to know anyway. If you don't remember these, pause the video, take a note, and while you're at home, just try and revise these every now and then until you do know them. Okay, now we're going to have a look at roots. So rooting is the opposite of... Square rooting is the opposite of squaring. Cube rooting is the opposite of cubing. Uh, and so on. So the square root of 25 is basically asking what number do I square to get to 25? And this is one of the ones that you should know and the answer is 5. Now if you don't know that 5 squared is 25 you won't know that the square root of 25 is 5. So you must know these ones here off by heart. What number cubed makes 125? So to know what the cube root of 125 is, we must not know what number we cube to make 125. The answer is 5. 
Do not write a 3 there. The answer is just 5. The answer is not 5 cubed. What's the fourth root of 625? Again, this is the one that we one of the ones that we should know. 5 to the power 4 is 65. So the fourth root of 65 is 5. What is the square root of negative 25? We can't square root negative 25. The reason being is if you multiply negative by negative, you end up with a positive. And if you multiply positive by a positive, you also end up with a positive. You cannot square root a negative. There is no number squared that results in a negative. You could have negative root 25 which is different, and that would equal negative 5, because the square root of 25 is 5, and that's a negative root 25, but you cannot square root a negative. You can cube root a negative. Negative 5 multiplied by negative 5 multiplied by negative 5 would give you negative 125. So the cube root of negative 125 is negative 5. Okay, when we square root fractions, we just square root the numerator and we square root the denominator. So that's the same as root 4 over root 25, which is 2 over 5. Now we have a decimal. It's difficult to read a decimal sometimes, but we can convert it to a fraction. We know that 0 0.25 is the same as 1 quarter. The square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. There we go. We wouldn't have been able to answer any of these if we didn't know these facts. So just to remind you one more time, really, really important that you remember these facts here. Okay, have a go at these ones. If you don't know them yet, go back and have a look. But remember, these won't be handy to you all the time. Right, the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 squared is 9. The cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 cubed is 27. The fourth root of 81 is 3, because 3 to the power of 4 is 81. We cannot square root a negative. The cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. The square root of 4 over 9 is the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. 0 0.09 is the same as 9 over 100. Just converting that decimal to a fraction. And the square root of that fraction, well, the square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of 100 is 10. Okay, there's your basic root question. Now let's try some quick fire questions. Square root of 144 is 12, because 12 squared is 144. Cube root of 27 is 3, so 3 cubed is 27. 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 is 27. Which of these is true? Ah, this is a really common mistake here. People think that the square root of 16 is 8. Square rooting is not the same as dividing by 2. Square root of 16 is... Square root of 4 is 16, no. We can say that 4 squared is equal to 16. The square root of 16 is 4, yes. If 4 squared is 16, then the square root of 16 is 4. We're looking at inverse operations here. Square rooting is the inverse of square root. Note square rooting isn't the same as dividing by 10. 
what is the value of the cube root of 64? It's 4, because 4 cubed is 64. Work out the cube root of 27 over 8. Well, the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So we can say 3 over 2. Joe and Paul are arguing about roots. Joe says the square root of 4 is 0 0.2. Sorry, the square root of 0.2. Sorry, Joe says the square root of 0 0.4 is 0 0.2. Paul says the square root of 1 over 25 is 1 fifth. <coughs> well, there's an easy way to check this. What's 0 0.2 squared? 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 is actually... 0.04. So the square root of 0 0.04 is 0 0.2, not 0 0.4. So Joe is wrong. 1 fifth multiplied by 1 fifth. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. And 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. So therefore the square root of 1 over 25 is 1 fifth. So Paul is correct. And Joe is incorrect. Okay, one, one final question. The cube root of 1, 2, 5 is 5. The square root of 16 is 4. And 5 plus 4 is 9. Another one. The fourth root of 16 is... What number to the power of 4 gives the 16? It's 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, multiplied by 2 again is 8, multiplied by 2 again is 16, so the fourth root of 16 is 2. The fourth root of 256. The answer is 4, because 4 to the power of 4 equals 256. <coughs> you guys have a go at these. And pause the video to work through and then play the video when you're ready for the answers. <coughs> and remember if you cube root a negative, the answer is negative. Okay, some tricky questions here. Three questions. Work through them. Um, pause the video. When you're done, play the video and I'll show you the answers and you can mark your work. And then if you found any difficult or if you've got them incorrect, you can watch me go through the answers. Okay, so just tick or cross your answers. Then you don't have to watch all of the solutions when you go through when I go through them, you can just select the ones that you didn't get correct. Okay, question 4a. Cube root of 27 is 3. Question 4b. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. The cube root of 1000 is 10. And the cube root of negative 1, 2, 5 is negative 5. Question 5. 5a. Square root 4 squared plus 3 squared. 4 squared is 16 and 3 squared is 9. 16 plus 9 is 25 and the square root of 25 is 5. Part B. The cube root of 10 squared plus 5 squared is the same as the cube root of 100 plus 25, which is the cube root of 125, which is 5. 5C. 43 minus the cube root of negative 27. Well, that's the same as 43 minus negative 3. 
which is the same as 43 plus 3, which is 46. Part B. 33 minus the cube root of negative 8 minus negative 4 squared. So 33 minus the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2 minus negative 4 squared, which is 16, because a negative multiplied by negative is a positive. That gives us 33 plus 2 minus 16, which is 35. Take away 16, which is 19. 5e. The square root of 5 squared plus 3 multiplied by negative the cube root of negative 27, which is the square root of 25 plus 3 multiplied by negative 3. Bid math or multiply there, that's the square root of 25 minus 9, so the square root of 16, which is 4. F, 5 squared multiplied by negative, the cube root of negative 27, all over the cube root of negative 8 minus the square root of 9. So 25 multiplied by negative 3 all over negative 2 take away 3. 25 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 75 and negative 2 take away 3 is negative 5. 5 goes into 75 15 times so negative 75 divided by negative 5 is 15. G. Negative 3 cubed over root 9 multiplied by negative root 64 over the cube root of negative 1. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27 over 3 multiplied by negative 4 over negative 1. Negative 27 divided by 3 is negative 9. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 is 4. And negative 9 multiplied by 4 is negative 36. H. 0 0.2 squared multiplied by the cube root of negative 1, 2, 5. All over the cube root of 8. 0 0.2 squared is 0 0.04 multiplied by negative 5 divided by 2. Okay, so 5 times 0 0.04 would be 0 0.2. So negative 5 multiplied by 0 0.04 would be negative 0 0.2 divided by 2, which would be negative 0 0.1. Okay, last question and question six. Okay, so we've got three cubed, which is twenty seven, minus five squared, which is twenty five, multiplied by two and then all cubed. 27 minus 25 is 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And 4 cubed is 64. 6b. 20 minus 3 multiplied by 4 squared. Minus 2 squared multiplied by 3 squared. So 20. Minus bracket first. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Again, brackets first. 4 multiplied by 9 is 36. And now we'll complete the things in this bracket. Then the indices. 4 squared is 16. 
3 multiplied by 16 is 48. Using all the operations here, 48 minus 36 is 12. And 20 minus 12 is 8. And question 6, C. 72 divided by 7 minus 5 cubed minus 3 divided by root 9. Okay, bracket first. 72 divided by 2 cubed minus 3 divided by the square root of 9, which is 3. 72 divided by 8 minus 3 divided by 3. 72 divided by 8 is 9. Nine minus three is six, and six divided by three is two. There we go, that's the end of that lesson. That's quite a lot of work there, but hopefully not too challenging. Remember to learn your powers and roots. Well done, everyone. Bye-bye.